Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Mr. Pascal Omosa. Today, I am going to teach the Oswald process of nitric acid. In the manufacture of nitric acid, the raw materials we need for this process is ammonia gas uh, and air. So the raw materials we need number one <coughs> ammonia gas and B we need <coughs> We obtain air from the atmosphere and this ammonia, we obtain it from harbor process. This is what we need, these two. I am going to break this process into chambers. Ammonia gas with air is taken to the first chamber and this chamber is called <coughs> a purifier and in the purifier the waste products or Substances that may poison the catalyst that are used in this process are removed and these substances include carbon 4 oxide and dust particles and dust The mixture of ammonia and air are taken to the next chamber and I'm calling this chamber the compressor and in the compressor this mixture is compressed uh, uh, repeatedly at a pressure of nine atmospheres which is suitable for formation of the products the compressed <coughs> mixture of ammonia and air is taken to the next chamber the heat exchanger heat exchanger and this mixture of ammonia and air is heated at a temperature of 900 degree Celsius which is responsible to initiate the process from the heat exchanger the hot mixture of ammonia and air is taken to another chamber here and this is the catalytic chamber the catalytic chamber and this chamber and in this chamber the catalyst used is an alloy of platinum uh, an alloy of platinum and rhodium So this catalyst uh, is responsible to catalyze the process, the reaction between ammonia gas, this is the first, uh, the first chamber where uh, a reaction takes place, ammonia reacts with oxygen in air 
oxygen gas uh, to form nitrogen 2 oxide nitrogen 2 oxide LO uh, nitrogen 2 oxide and water but also this reaction releases a lot of heat therefore I, I write heat here ammonia and oxygen reacts in a ratio of 4 to 5 4 to 5 and the products formed are in the ratio of 4 to 6 so this one is nitrogen to oxide gas formed in this chamber after ammonia reacts with oxygen gas in presence of the uh, platinum rhodium alloy which is the catalyst and water is also formed but remember the air supply to this chamber is uh, is in large quantities therefore the products uh, which is nitrogen four oxide and excess air are taken to another chamber uh, are taken to other, another chamber here the cooling chamber I will call it, uh, I will call, I will call it the condenser through the heat exchanger. So from this chamber, uh, nitrogen two oxide and air. So I write nitrogen two oxide and air are taken to this chamber, but through the heat exchanger. So here I will still say nitrogen two oxide uh, and air and air. In this chamber. Nitrogen 2 oxide and air are cooled to a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. This, uh, in this condition, in this temperature, uh, nitrogen 2 oxide and oxygen in this air react. Therefore, the equation in the condenser is nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen 2 oxide gas reacts with oxygen gas to form nitrogen 4 oxide gas. Uh, this equation, if I balance it, I'll place a 2 here, a 2 here, and then I also place a 2 here to balance it. So from this chamber, uh, we move to the next chamber and what is found in this chamber nitrogen 4 oxide <coughs> uh, nitrogen 4 oxide is taken to another chamber is, called, is taken to this chamber here and in this chamber I'm calling it the absorption absorption chamber calling the into the absorption chamber. In the absorption chamber, nitrogen 4 oxide and also air, nitrogen 4 oxide and also air that enter this, this chamber are sprayed with water. Are sprayed with water. And therefore, the equation that takes place in this chamber, the first equation in this chamber is uh, nitrogen 4 oxide gas reacts with water to form two acids. The first one is nitrous acid because it's dissolved, it's aqueous plus nitric acid aqueous that means from this chamber I'm collecting my nitric acid nitric acid for uh, for, for doing any of the uses of it but again this nitric, uh, this nitrous acid, 
that is formed in this chamber in the second equation in the second equation the nitrous acid formed H N O two aqueous reacts with the air that initially uh, that was initially uh, directed to this chamber and in this equation nitrous acid now reacts with that air uh, I will say oxygen in that air and in this nitrous acid again is oxidized to nitric acid to nitric acid that means uh, again we collect the nitric acid uh, the nitric acid uh, in this chamber thank you for watching my channel and let's meet in the next lesson